Good morning everyone. Today we shall learn about the classification of living organisms. You must have surely visited a zoo. There are so many different types of animals there. If you have ever watched documentaries of marine world, you must have also seen lots of animals living under the sea. Some of them are so peculiar that they seem unreal. Like this blobfish. No matter how much you love nature, knowing all animals and plants seems impossible. If we divide them into groups based on similarities, then we would be able to know more about animals, plants of different varieties. Hard to believe, but there are more than 8.7 million species. But that is just a rough estimation. Obviously, we need broader categorization than species, which brings multiple species having too many similarities under one category. Actually, there is such classification system that covers all living organisms within very limited but defined categories. All living organisms are classified and identified based on their basic body design in form and function. You know, animals have undergone a wide range of changes throughout the ages to adapt to the changing environment and survive. So, they gain many characteristics which change their body, keeping the basic design intact. For example, the ancestors of whale lived on land. This means their body went through lots of changes and gained or lost many characteristics to adapt to the ocean environment. But the basic design didn't change. So you see, Classification of living organism is closely related to evolution because the huge variety of living organisms that we see today has arisen from accumulation of changes in body design as an effort to adapt to the changing environment. So for more efficient classification we have to look at their origin and similarities and basic characteristic because many species have arisen from single origin and different animals have gone through different kinds of changes during evolution but their basic body structure and few characteristics remain the link between them. Biologists such as Ernst Haeckel, Robert Whittaker and Carl Woese have tried to classify all the living organism into broad categories called kingdoms. And what was the basis of classification? It was their st cell structure, mode and source of nutrition and the body organization. The classification that Whittaker proposed has five kingdoms, Monera, Prostita, fungi, plantae and animalia. But still, organisms of a kingdom have so wide ranging distinct characteristics that kingdom had to be further divided to do the justice. So for this reason, biologists kept making subcategories until they reached a classification where they could tell every group has some distinct features which other groups don't have. The kingdom was divided into various phylum. A phylum was divided into various classes, divided into various order, which in turn was divided into various family, then genus and finally species. So the basic unit of classification is species. A species includes all organisms that are similar enough to breed and perpetuate. If we go one or two level up in this hierarchy, 
we will still have proper categorization which does justice to the diversity of organisms yet link them properly to bring them under the same group the basic unit of classification is species broadly a species includes all organisms that are similar enough to breed and perpetuate so now you understand why classification of living organisms is needed it is needed because it gives us better knowledge and understanding of organisms that are studied it helps to study the organisms in a proper and systematic manner it helps us to make comparison in an easier way it helps us in understanding the relationship among the organisms and their interdependence so classification makes our study more focused and helps us to handle huge population of organisms lastly it gives us an idea of evolution that is how organisms have evolved in nature by adapting themselves to the changing environment so now you know why and how classification of living organism was done in general the detailed classification we shall study in the next class till then bye bye